Neighbor kids broke into my house and stole my cat. I'm currently on vacation. I receive a ring notification that one of the neighbor kids was ringing the doorbell. She comes and rings my doorbells about 50 times a day to pet my cat and won't stop ringing until I answer. But today I was extremely busy, so I ignored the notification. About an hour later, I received a message from the kid's mom telling me she caught her child with my cat and letting me know her and some other children were in my house. I immediately checked the camera, and sure enough, I see her repeatedly hitting the doorbell camera until it knocks down to retrieve the spare key I had behind it. She must have somehow watched me put it there. No, dude, she was just fucking with your ring, and it fell off. If you think this little girl is is casing your joint, you're the adult in this situation. Talk to the other adult in this situation. Get the kids under control. I don't like that. She's like, she must have watched me put this bear key. First of all, you put this bear key in the most obvious fucking place behind the ring camera. And she hits it. You said she hits it 50 times. You know, like how many how many rings is this doorbell marketed for? Is it a million ring doorbell? Is like it's not even the bell itself. It's the it's the case that holds that attaches it to the door frame or whatever. So no, she she wasn't casing your your place. You're like that that makes me mad. You're like this little son of a bitch wants to break in and pet my cat. This little fucking five year old next door. She's probably like I don't know who cares. She could be five. This five year old next door comes over. And she's casing the joint. No, she doesn't want my jewelry. No, she doesn't want my flat screen television or my silverware. She wants to pet my cat. Unsupervised. Pull on its tail a little bit. Say, you come back with scratches on your hand. That ain't, that ain't my fault. Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Mittens did what Miss Mittens does when she's angry. She, she fucking bops you. Claws out. Until she knocks it down, retrieving the spare key I had behind it. Before letting herself into my house unattended and taking one of my cats. Okay, you have more than one cat. Enough said. She did you a favor, stealing that cat from you. You got that toxoplasmosis lady, making you paranoid of children and loving cats. She then gave my key to another child who also went into my home unattended. Okay, that's a little creepy. I have no idea what they were doing in my house, if they took anything or if they accidentally let my other elderly cat out. Thankfully, my dad went and checked on everything, locked my door, and took the key. But I won't know if anything else was taken until I get home. No, that is creepy that you're not home to deal with it. But you you need to talk to this kid's parents. And I think the odds of, I don't know, who who knows? I want to stand up for the first girl because she seems innocent. She seems just to want to pet a cat. But that other kid who she gave the key to, seedy. I can just tell. Seedy motherfucker. You got an elderly cat. Put that cat down. <laughs> okay, don't do that. But I, uh, I might have said this, but I was trying to fucking tell this girl at work that she should have put her fucking dog down. But... No one wants no one wants to hear that that news. So I was trying. I was like, you know, I wish we would have put my dog down sooner. I just said stuff like that. But you know, if they're still like alive, you still love them, and you don't want to kill your fucking animal. I get it. After dealing with an elderly elderly dog, I like to think when the time comes, I wouldn't prolong the inevitable. Complicated call to make, so I don't envy anybody who has to make it, and I, and I understand anyone who who puts that off. Do I do anything about this? Tell the other children's parents. The children are 10, 7, and 4, and the mother of the child who took my cat said she's being grounded, although I saw her unattending running around my porch again later in the day. See, these fucking ring things, I get it. You want to fucking see when 10-year-olds come in and steal your cat? I get that. I'd want that on footage, too. So you can fucking send them, take them to jail when they turn 18. Try them as an adult. But it's like, yeah, now you're just at home being paranoid about your ha- house. And you're like, oh, my God, there's a kid running around. You're like, Now you're just fucking on your vacation watching your ring doorbell. Being like, there's a goddamn kid running around. 
Part of it is my fault for leaving a spare key, but I always grew up doing that, and I wanted my dad to be able to get in in case of an emergency with the cat. I know they're children, but I feel shaken up. Yeah, I mean, you're lucky this happened with children, lady. What if it was a grown man who wanted to do something worse than those cats? <laughs> right? Not just pet him. Okay. What's it called? What's it called? Bestiality <laughs> is what it's called. <laughs> the bestiality boys. <laughs> Brass monkey. <laughs> And it's just like the fucking bed springs. Er, 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 er. Brass monkey. Er, 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 er. Cut to six months later. You have AIDS. Bestiality, boys. Yeah, man. I, I mean, you got to talk to the parents. You got to say you, your kid's being way too annoying. I mean, I used to do this. You know what it was? Before Ring, this one, the, well, my one neighbor had intercom. Had an intercom, so we would like bring the intercom and like say stuff into the intercom, which is wild. I don't know what we said. I think we were just like taunting her to come out. I forget, I forget her name, but yeah. So this is kind of a thing kids do: is they annoy their neighbors. We have a neighbor girl. It was pretty nice. And she comes over, and she, you know. Is friends with my parents and they talk about whatever and they have a little friendship, which is nice. And she's not, she's not ringing the doorbell 50 times annoying, but kind of similar. Yeah. I mean, the 10 year old you can maybe talk to, you could be like, Hey, listen, I work. Mm, uh, no, I was going to say, maybe let them text you. That's weird. Get an outdoor cat. Bada bing, bada boom. Go find my... Oh, I have an outdoor cat. Go find it. It likes to play in the middle of the road. Okay. <laughs> That's fucked up. And these are... Yeah, these are young kids. But you should. You should be like, yo. Tell your kids to fucking... Get the hint. On the 25th doorbell ring, when I don't answer... I'm either A dot home... Or B, don't want to answer the fucking doorbell. Get the hit. Tell your tell that ten year old you have to get a hit. And once that ten year old gets a hit, have them relay that to the seven year old. And once the it gets through the seven year old's mush for brains, get it to the fucking four year old, the double toddler. You got a fucking double toddler over here. Yeah, talk to the kids. Make, give them a little bit of structure. Be like, you know what? You, you can like, I'm busy. You can only pet the cat. Come over to pet the cat on, on Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoons, or pick a day. Compromise with these kids. I don't think you have much to worry about. They're fucking kids. Hide your, hide your keys somewhere a little bit more creatively next time under a fucking potted plant, not behind the removable doorbell. And maybe, just maybe, let like, your house be. Like the, the the constant monitoring it has some advantages, but like if it consumes your vacation, my dude, it's not worth your time. Are you addicted to watching your watching your neighbor kids live their life? You're fucking creeping, peeping on these neighbor kids running up and down the street because you're worried they want to come and pet your cat. She should she she should have known you were on vacation too. If this is like a thing. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. I want to put your cat. Imagine, you know what? You're just jealous that you never, like, you're in your old age, you would never in your right mind ring a doorbell 50 times just to pet a cat. You, like, obviously, it's not good behavior to reinforce, but there's something genuine about fucking liking cats that much that that's what you're determined to do today. My neighbor's got a cat over there. I'm fucking petting it. Even if I have to break a goddamn entry, I'm petting that cat. If I have to train it from the outside of the house how to flip the, the bolt to unlock the door. Oh, cats are, cats are tricky. They'll fish their hand underneath the door and they'll pry that bitch open. And you know what cats also are? They also enjoy being petted. It's children. Talk to them. Talk to the parents. 
get it over with. And fucking, maybe you should have some children too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just rub it in your face. Two elderly cats, zero children. Cool. You're doing really well.